Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob with ClicksGeek and today I have a real estate investor case study for you. This is a Google ads case study. All right, so we're running ads on Google for this guy. We also do Facebook ads, but not for this client in particular, at least not yet. So we have a system for Google and Facebook ads to drive distressed and motivated sellers, right? So these are people who are on Google. They're trying to get cash offers for their homes. All right, now we've also found ways, different ways, a few different ways to weed out people who are just trying to sell their house through like MLS or listed stuff. So I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through that in this video as well and how we're doing that. And um, if you're a real estate investor, then this video is for you. Stick around till the end. I'm gonna show you all the keywords we're using. I'm gonna show you how we're doing everything and how these Google ads campaigns are pulling these leads. All right, so we are inside the client's Google Ads dashboard, all right? So it might look a little different. That's because Google, once again, has decided to change the outlook, the look of their dashboard, which is super annoying, but I'm already used to it by now. So I suggest you guys get used to it as well because it's going to be forced upon all of us in August anyway. So you might as well do it. All right, that said, um, I want to touch on something before I go into this campaign. So you don't need a huge budget to do to run successful Google Ads campaigns in the REI space. However, if you are in a localized market like, say, Phoenix or Dallas, and that's all you're going after, um, in the situation like that, you're going to need a bigger budget because there's going to be a ton of more competition. So this guy is actually he's all across the country in different counties. I think almost all of the big counties across the country. So that's why his um, his um, lead volume is a little bit higher. And he's only honestly, we're just getting started with this campaign. So I expect these this lead flow to be doubled in the next 90 days. But um, my point is, in a smaller market, you guys, you need a bigger budget, right? $100 a day in any REI market is not really going to work. All right, you're going to get no volume out of that. I would highly suggest that before you decide to embark on running Google ads to get motivated seller leads that you save if you don't have the budget for it in your business right now, that's okay. Save, right? Save for three or four months. Save up the money because you're going to need the budget. Think of it like runway for an airplane taking off. If your budget's not big enough, you're not going to have runway and the campaign's never going to work. And then you're going to be like, oh, well, Google Ads doesn't work. All right. So keep that in mind. And the other thing, how we're weeding out wholesalers, right? So other wholesalers search Google to offload their deals to other real estate investors. So they'll search Google in their markets that they have houses and look for someone running rebuy house ads and try and unload that property. A lot of our clients do not want those people calling them. So how we how we sidestep that is we pin in our ads too. And this is usually only if, so, if we see it's a problem. In some markets it is, some markets it's not. We'll pin in the ad, no wholesalers, you know, must own the property, something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing, but um, we'll pin that in there. And assuming they don't see that, which they should, because it will be pinned in every ad running. Then when they land on the landing page, it says it directly in the header. We do not buy homes from wholesalers. So that's one of the ways that you can uh, mitigate wholesalers calling you and trying to offload their deals onto you and um, not waste, you know, $70 a click in Google to get one of those calls. All right, that's it. Let's go to this campaign. So this is our REI campaign. Last 30 days, June 8th to July 7th, 2024. This guy's gotten 180 clicks. Click-through rate, 4.58%, which is... Ideally, I'd like to be around 5, but it's a little lower. But we're doing a lot of volume here. So I'm not surprised. And he's gotten 53 leads. That's a mixture of inbound phone calls and contact form submissions for a cost per lead of $270. And the conversion rate of 29%. So in July of 2024, we're aiming for $250 leads in Google Ads. Right now, that may seem high, but you have to understand these deals are extremely valuable. And um, I, it really depends on the market. We have clients doing $150 a lead, and we have guys like this doing $270. So somewhere between there is the sweet spot for Google right now. And you got to look at it from a pure cost perspective. If you're paying 70, what's his average click cost per click? $79. So, you know, it's $79 a click. So you got to be realistic with what you're going to pay per lead if you're paying that kind of price per click. Now, we are using Target CPA. So we have this set at, I think, 260. So we're trying, we're telling Google, listen, bring us as many leads as possible at a cost per lead of 260. And the conversion rate is obviously really good. 29% conversion rate is awesome. 
across the board in any niche you're running ads in in Google. So it's not a conversion issue. It's just a cost per click issue. And it's just we're at that time right now, guys, where everything's flexed and really high due to a ton of economic factors. But um, that's why the cost per lead is around. We're seeing around 250 to 260. And that's what we're doing with that. So if we go into the ad groups here, we'll check this out. And limited by policy is because of the housing stuff. So we'll see here a couple, let's sort by conversions. There we go. So companies that buy houses, 290, cash for homes, sell my house fast, fast home buyers. I need to sell my house fast. You, you guys can see here, all of our keywords and ad groups are more towards motivated, distressed people who need to, they're in a situation. They got to unload this property. They want, they want as many offers as they can for it. Sell house as is. I mean, those are great keywords. Buy my house. We buy houses. We buy houses. Geo. So a lot of different um, we buy houses stuff. And let's go into keywords here. I'll show you guys the actual keywords. Here we go. Scroll down here. All right, so you'll see here, want to sell my property fast. Five leads, $54 a lead. So those are always nice to see because those are the types of cost per conversions that will drag the rest of the overall average cost down across the whole campaign. Cash for homes, companies, three leads, 235. I want to sell my home as is, two leads. Fast property buyers, buy my house now. I need to sell my house fast. Cash buyers for houses. Nice hundred dollar leads. Property buyers, companies that buy estates. We buy houses, Geo, San Francisco. We buy your home. Sell your house for cash. We actually pause that. I'm gonna turn that back on actually. I'll take the volume. Sell my property as is. Hundred dollar leads. Fast cash for houses, sixty seven dollar lead. Fast cash for your house, $55 lead. So you'll see on and on, guys. And again, the, you know, the, this campaign is converting at 29%. So we're really only limited by the cost per, the cost per click right now. We can't really do much more. We can't really squeeze much more conversion rate out of this campaign. So what we got to do now is work on driving the cost per lead closer down towards 200, where I like to see this at, without affecting the volume. Right. You see, he's getting 53 leads a month. He's spending his budget $700 a day. And I think that's just Monday through Friday. So we need to work on getting that cost per conversion down. But, you know, this is what Google is right now. Cost per clicks are high and that's what drives the high cost per lead. But as I said, the averages we're seeing are anywhere from 150 to like 280 for REI leads in Google ads right now. And that's uh, it really it really depends on the market. So if this this guy's obviously in a lot of California and California is a huge, huge difference than anywhere else in the country when it comes to cost per clicks in this space. And that's why you're going to see higher lead costs if you're in California. There's there's no way around it. It's just what it is. It's what it costs to get leads out there. Um, and then you go, you go to guys who are in like, you know, Atlanta and you're getting leads for one hundred and fifteen dollars. So it really just depends on the market and where you are. And uh, what your lead cost is going to be, but I'm super psyched about this um, good landing page. It's it's newer, so we're testing something new, and it's converting 29. percent So I'm happy with that. And uh, if you guys have any questions about this campaign or REI campaigns in general, drop them in the comment section below. If you want this campaign in your localized market, there's a link in the description. Fill that out. Let's hop on a call. I'll walk you through the landing page, the keywords again, and all the different stuff. And depending on where your market is, we can give you an estimate on what it's going to cost per lead and what kind of budget you'll need to uh, make that run.